Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Dr. Mucus. Hello guys, welcome to our channel, Dr. Mucus. And today in our channel, we are going to see about an important male reproductive part and one of the male's uh, external genitalia scrotum yeah so before entering the topic scrotum so first i'll tell what are all the male external genitalia usually there are two types of male external genitalia so it's nothing but the external parts of the male reproductive system that's why we are calling it as external genitalia so one is the penis um about the penis everything uh, i'll cover it in another video in this video we are mainly going to focus on the scrotum so what is a scrotum and how does a scrotum looks like and what are the functions of scrotum and uh, what are the different layers of scrotum uh, uh, so we are going to cover all these contents in this video so to understand about the scrotum anatomy kindly watch the full video so first we'll talk about what is a scrotum and what are the functions of scrotum so scrotum is nothing but a cutaneous bag so this is the cutaneous bag so this is scrotum and it inside the scrotum uh, inside this bag it contains testes which we locally call it as balls and that's not important as a medical student so inside the scrotum uh, testis is present and epididymis is also present and some of the lower parts of spermatic cords epididymis and lower part of spermatic cords is also present if you notice this cutaneous bag, if you notice this scrotum clearly, you can see that the left part, this left part is, lo is lower than the right part. So this is how a normal scrotum looks like. The left part is lower than this right part. You know why? Because in the left testicle, the left spermatic cord has some greater length than the right testicles so that's why the left scrotum is lower than the right scrotum and now we'll see the functions functions of scrotum first is the protective function so as usual it is a cutaneous bag and it protects the inner parts the main um, reproductive parts of male testis and epididymis and this lower part of the spermatic cords everything so it protects them and next it has an important function that is it maintains the temperature It maintains temperature of these things, testis, epididymis, lower part of the spermatic cords. Uh, so that temperature, it should be lower than the abdominal temperature. Lower than abdominal temperature. That is the apt temperature to produce sperms. So this scrotum, it plays a major role in maintaining the temperature. So how does this scrotum maintains this temperature? It's because of two different muscles. One is Dartos muscle. And the second one is Cremaster muscle. One is Dartos muscle and the other one is the Cremaster muscle. So this Dartos muscle, if you see clearly here, we can see some wrinkles. These are the wrinkles. Some wrinkles are present in the scrotum. So that wrinkles are because of this Dartos muscle. And this cream master, what does this cream master do? It, it elevates the testes. That's how it helps the male reproductive system. 
now we'll see the different layers of scrotum so the layers of scrotum i'm going to explain from outside to inside to remember these layers of scrotum i'm going to give you a small example some dangerous it's not an example it's a mnemonic englishman called eight testes so yes for skin this is the first outer layer d for dartos muscle and e for external spermatic fascia and the c stands for cremasteric muscle and this i stands for internal spermatic fascia t stands for tunica vaginalis so this is how i usually remember the layers of scrotum some dangerous english man called it testes so um in diagrammatic form i'll explain you so see this is the outer layer skin this is outer layer skin this is the first outer layer and the second layer is the dartos fascia this is the uh, second out, uh, outer layer then comes the external spermatic fascia this dartos fascia i have to explain about that uh, it is responsible for the wrinkles of scrotum as i have said already it is responsible for the wrinkles of scrotum also it helps in maintaining the temperature which is the main function of the scrotum so it definitely helps in the maintaining the temperature of the um uh, testes and the inner part of the scrotum whatever the scrotum carries and the fourth outer layer is the cremaster muscle and the fascia so you can clearly see this here this is the cremaster muscle and fascia and next this blue color layer this blue color layer uh, this muscle layer it is called as the internal spermatic fascia internal spermatic fascia then comes the tunica vaginalis so this is the tunica vaginalis this layer is the tunica vaginalis this tunica vaginalis it also covers the testicles testes so these are the layers of scrotum as a med student when it comes to must know part of the anatomy of scrotum these are the important points you have to cover so for other medical related videos subscribe our channel do not forget to comment your doubts see you guys in next video